Good morning. Today on Customer Space What, we have a 2004 LS430. We're doing a time and belt service. Let's get into it. All right, guys, now that we took it up top and we're draining the coolant VIA, the pit cat, we're going to look around. It's an 04 with over 250,000 miles on it. And not for nothing, it's in decent condition. It's in decent condition. I could still tell that that's a hex. Uh, see, we got a little, little rattle right here from the exhaust, but you know what? Customer spent a lot of money with me. I'm gonna fix that for them. For free. Imagine that. So the further we go back, yeah, Diff is looking a little petrified. But it's not that bad back here. Look at that subframe, guys. Still has paint on it. <laughs> Still has paint. I guess uh, Japanese metal doesn't rust as fast as German metal. Or at least from what I've seen over the years. <laughs> the tires, uh, you got a little abnormal wear on the inside edges. It's not that bad though, but it's there. Bushings, they're looking good. They're probably a little fatigued, but they're looking good. Uh, I, I went on a test drive on this and it drives nice for the mileage. Just need, It's in need of some service. That's about it. So let's uh, continue the service. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the whole air box out. We got the radiator fans out. We got the upper radiator hose off and out of the vehicle. We have the whole thermostat assembly that connects here off to the side. We got the drive belt out. We got the idler off right there, and we have one of the timing covers off. Now, with the timing cover on this side, you have to be careful. As you can see, there's a harness that goes through it and there's a rubber grommet. So what you do is you take the rubber grommet out first and then you can maneuver the harness. But now, to get this cover off, we gotta get this harness out the way. And in order to get this harness out the way, we have to unplug a couple of sensors down there and just to get enough slack so we can get this cover out. So let's get that done. Now that we have a little bit of slack in this harness, we could put this harness through the connector, I mean through the hole. No, actually, no, made a Goomba move. You gotta get this little clip, this mounting clip off so you could put the connector through the hole. Giggity, Goomba move. All right, let's try that again. Harness, connector, through the hole. Then you can take the cover out. Make sure you don't lose this gasket. It goes around the cover. Very good. So guys, to get the idler off, we needed to remove the power steering. And also, we had to remove the alternator. So that's just hanging there. That's just hanging there. So that's what we had to do on this bank. Now, this bank here, to remove this idler right here, well, the AC compressor is bolted to it. So we got to remove the AC compressor on this side just to remove this idler to expose the rest of the timing belt and the water pump. So let's take it up top and uh, remove <laughs> that AC compressor. Alright guys, now that we took it back up top, we loosened uh, the AC compressor as we can see here. We took this bolt out right there. We took the other bolt out that is right behind that harness. And we actually only loosened the one back there. So right now that AC compressor is just hanging. Hopefully when we lower the vehicle, we should be good. All right guys, it looks like we have enough room here. We got this hanging. We bent this little bracket for the harness out the way. Now this should should just, oh, we should just come right out. Oh, right. Okay, guys, pay attention here. We just set the timing, so now we know we're at top dead center, and we could remove the crank pulley. We could remove the timing, excuse me, the timing belt tensioner with no worries. And how we figured that out? 
We got the line on the crank at zero. Passenger side bank. You got this mark lining up here. Driver side bank. You got that mark there lining up with that. So now we know that's time. The next tip, guys, and I cannot stress this enough. Whenever you're doing work to the front of the engine and you did not remove the radiator, put something in front of the radiator. Ask me how I know. So yeah, now we could take the crank pulley out. We could take this cover out. We could take the tensioner out. And we could remove the water pump. But it's looking like we may have to remove this throttle body. I didn't. Oh no, wait, no. Wait. No, no, I got room. Okay. I don't have to remove this crossover pipe. Very good. Alright, will it come out first try? Oh wait, it would be good if I got the right size freaking socket. Alright, let's try that again. And just double check your marks, guys, because I think the engine tapped over just a little bit. So just, oh, went too far. Oh. Uh, right. Oh, too far again. Come on. All right, right there. Good. All right. So the crank bolt out. I do want to put all this screw right there. Pull it. Oh, yes, came right out. Didn't have to pull it. <coughs> now let's get that cover out. All right, guys, and just like the other vehicles with timing belts this here sprocket is tapered and it's also a tone ring as you could see that's where the vehicle gets its crank signal on or that's where it gets its crank signal off of excuse me and it's also keyed by the woodruff key in the crank so there's only one true position that this belongs in you can be a goomba and put it in backwards but you're gonna have a bad day if you do Okay guys, so another tip, if you are just replacing the timing chain tensioner, there is no need to compress it. You can just remove it little by little, each bolt, each bolt, you got one right there, one right there, tensioner is out. And now, we can remove the belt with no worries. Still got to work around this harness, but that's fine. And now, belt's gone. Boom. And another tip, guys. The negative post is disconnected. Very good. So now that we have the timing belt removed completely, we're gonna get this here water pump out. And we're gonna make a mess. All right guys, here's another tip. When you're moving the timing chain, excuse me, timing belt idler pulley, there is a washer on the back side of the bolt. I repeat, there is a washer there. Do not lose it. It's measured to a specific size do not install this without that washer or you're gonna have <laughs> a real bad day well 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 look at that you see that little pink crust right there the water pump was just starting to leak very good and you can't see that because this little cover right here come on come out yeah see it comes right out very good and the way to tell 
on some water pumps, on like some really bad ones, they would leak right through that peephole right there. Right through here. And it'll run down the engine. And that's how you can tell it's leaking, if it's leaking really bad. But in our case here, it's not leaking bad at all, but we're doing a timing belt. We're in here, you replace it. Now, while we're here, we're gonna inspect the cam and crank seals. And uh, it doesn't look like they're too bad. This uh, little oil right here is not coming from the crank seal. That's coming from the oil pan, a little seepage. We did mention that, but uh, that's a, a lot more of an extensive job. Force induced wah wah in three, two, one. So tell me you failed state inspection without telling me you failed state inspection. <laughs> yeah, they failed state inspection. All right, we have the whole area prepped and cleaned for installation of the new gasket, of the new O-ring, and the new water pump. Now for the parts. Napa. Napa. Now, if it was my vehicle, I would prefer OEM, especially because it's a Lexus, but, uh, we got a whole kit here. Hose with the water pump, timing belt, both tensioners, or excuse me, both idlers, and a brand new tensioner. Let's open this box. Giggity. And of course, guys, you gotta stay organized. This is from the top of the vehicle. This is from the bottom of the vehicle. By this the is way. from the timing cover. Brand new parts. Kit's beautiful, guys. It's a Gates belt. And the best part, they got the markings. Very yeah, good. So here we have the new water pump just sitting here. We have a brand new O-ring that's a little lubricated and the right where it goes into is lubricated as well. Giggity. Now before you push the water pump in, be aware of the cam position sensor right here. The wiring can get caught on the edge. As you can see, it's out of the way now. So it should just dump right in. Very good, and now there are two dowel pins to align the water pump, and you'll know if they're not lined up. See, I'm trying to move the pump right now, and it's not moving, so we're definitely in the dowels. So, we're going to get the hardware in and torque it to spec. Alright, let's start off with this guy right here. RTFM, guys, the torque spec is 21 Newton meters. Alright guys, water pump is all torqued to specification. These guys were 21 Newton meters. This guy here, this guy here, and the 112 millimeter nut. Those were 18 Newton meters. And I noticed that my cam jumped. My timing mark is now over here instead of over here. So we're going to have to move that over as we set the crank. Now for the crank, there's, let's see if we can see it guys. There's going to be a little circle right over there. And that mark right there tells us that's where the timing belt itself goes. And there's a mark on the timing belt. In the previous clip I showed you that little circle on the sprocket of the cam, of the crankshaft, excuse me. That's where this line is gonna line up. So very good, let's get this belt on. Well, before we put the belt on, guys, we can't forget about our brand new idler, brand new bearing. Very good. All right, guys. All right, guys, the spec on this here is 34. Okay, guys, now that I have the timing belt routed correctly, we start off look down here as you can see in the mirror the lines are lined up to the circle on the crank the arrows are pointing away from the engine then we go to this bank over here we have our line lined up here 
under the water pump. We have our line lined up here. Now majority of our slack in the belt is right here because we haven't installed the tensioner yet. We're going to install the tensioner, pull the grenade pin, install the crank pulley, install the bolt, and we're going to rotate this engine 720 degrees or two full rotations. Guys, I gotta tell you, man, it's always anxiety when I turn an engine over. But our mark over there is lined up. Our mark over here is lined up. And our mark over here is lined up. I actually turned this engine four full rotations, so two power cycles. And we're on the money. Very good. And you know what that is? That's lunch. All right, guys, we're getting that much closer. Crank pulley's on, power steering's on, alternator's on, idler's back on. We still got two covers to go. We still got the thermostat assembly that we got to reseal. And uh, we still got to mount up the AC compressor down there. But we're getting it. Just to let you know, guys, they spent some money with me. Clean the throttle body. All right. All right, guys, we got the belt on. All the accessory drives are bolted and torqued down. Let's get the fans in and that thermostat assembly. All right, guys, moment of truth. Everything's in. Well, we got some trim pieces we still have to install, but you get the gist of it. Coolant's in the system. Anxiety's a little high right now. I haven't done one of these T-belts in years, but uh, theoretically, Everything should go well, so let's see what happens. Oh, you know what would help? If I connect the freaking battery. All right. Contact. Take two. How could the freaking battery die if it's not hooked up? I may have made a Goomba move, guys. Car wouldn't start. Battery's fine. And what do I find? I didn't put an engine ground on. I bet that's stopping me from starting. Oh, knowing is half the battle. All right, take three. Please start. Contact. Good. Not bad, it's going to be a high idle because we did in fact clean the throttle body, but it's sounding good. Let me, let me open the door. Sounding good. Yeah. Alright guys, if you don't know what to do, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for further content.